a charity tournament raising money for the International Association of Suicide Prevention, whose goal is to try and help those who may be experiencing suicidal thoughts to get them the resources they need. Joined with me today is First Lieutenant Rob. Hello. Sergeant McLaren. Howdy. Corporal Schreider. Good afternoon. And myself, Corporal Sparrow. So, today we're fighting on St. Saint Mary Lise, or one of those French towns in this game. All right. So, here we go. All right, so make sure you have toggled so we can see everyone. And let's see what we got going on. So we got a pretty good start. So it looks like we're going to be fighting over St. Mary Glees. Tons of fun. All right, we're off. So is, is there anything we are anybody's expecting to see today? Oh, I'm very much looking forward to see how this one plays out because I think the U.S. will have a slight advantage in this one with the St. Mary Glees. It's the only not perfectly balanced strong point on this side. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how the German team is able to react. I mean, right now we got a supply truck pretty much rushing the middle. Looks good. I might say the Germans might be the first ones to get to St. Mary Glees. Yep, there I got a nice got garrison the, on the line. It looks like the uh, the MPA, these guys are going to be taking more of a defensive approach to start. Uh, most of their, their guys heading down to Mason Dew Creek with one transport heading up more north to, to get that northern flank going. Yeah, I like kind of, I like to see what they got going on here. It looks like the BDSQ guys are rushing that lux like right down the middle, right to the church to see what they can draw, do. Draw first blood. You have to deal with some American artillery though, dropping right down in the middle of the city. It's interesting, there's like a German Panzer or a light tank just moving throughout the city. Looking to stack them bodies. Oh, and it actually engaged one of the US transports if just tapped them a little bit. A note to self, if your body is next to the artillery, it shakes your camera. <laughs> yeah, I've, <laughs> I've learned I just had to too. reset my body. It's interesting, they only sent one guy to set up a backward garrison on uh, Rue de Hiras. And then he redeployed almost immediately. <laughs> the uh, uh, one quick one of the... setting suggestion: turn your nameplates and everything up to one hundred percent, so you can see everyone like super clear. I just Ooh, realized good, mine was at thirty percent, so I wasn't seeing yep, everyone. Same. Doing that now. I love it. So never play alone is actually trying to take that like west side of the church, so like the hospice side of the church, and actually never play alone is actually committing a whole squad to hos hospice. It's just pretty interesting approach. So it's like, neither team is actually playing around the church. They're both like trying to secure either flank. Well, let's just say it's going to be a good fight up in hospice there, but uh, I'd say if, if the Germans can take the hospice, you got a bunch of Americans that they're going to have a nice big flank on them. And Germans yeah, come they... out hot already taking St. Mary Glees. Yeah, G Germans have definitely like seemingly moved towards the center of the point. I've done a more central type of push. Yeah, looks like never they haven't alone. forgotten their northern flank either. Oh. Never play alone took a very wide approach, was committing a whole squad. Yeah, I'm curious what they're gonna do here. So both both teams actually have a full squad size element on hospice right now. But I will say that the um, that one point, that west side of the church, that is definitely the best attacking. So from that hospice side. Those buildings and that approach into church is definitely the most effective way. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, the Germans are looking to place down a garrison on that side too. Hmm. You know, this this kind of it's funny. This seems to be like the general team dick strategy. They always like to go really wide and try to get around and pincher up and back in. But it looks like BDSQ actually is countered quite effectively because they do have those flanking squads all spread out and in good shape. And BDSQ right now has a really good spread on their outposts and their garrisons, so they have very powerful map control. Yeah, it looks like a transport truck just blew up on the uh, south side of the main point here. Hey, also don't forget to periodically hit T just so we can see where exactly the points are and movements and stuff. True. I just hit T and saw all of it light up. Yeah, it looks, looks like, like uh, their main thing is they want, or at least from never play alone standpoint, they have defensive marks and move marks on hospice just to try and hold that northern flank so that they can probably push it to the point. Yeah, and actually, Never Play Alone starting to make progress on that western side of the church. Got Ronnie pa Poncho and Archon, Roncon, starting to make their way into the church. Ooh, how much do you want to bet right now? Who's that? Roncon's throwing a satchel charge on the side of the church to just blast that. That would be the entirety of that BDSQ squad. Because they that have an be. entire. Yep, they got an entire squad committed to holding that church side. Be a nice quick way to clear out the church. It would looks be. like uh, we got the Germans starting to approach the uh, next objective. Coming in hot. Got recon up more to the uh, west. Armor trying to flank in behind. Uh, yeah, McLaren, you want to watch the uh, Masson? I'll watch uh, St. Mary Glees. I want to see if the satchel charge, if he did put a satchel charge to blow the entirety of the church up. He's been clearing it out single handedly pretty easily. Yeah, it looks like he's managed to get, his, get up to the top of church impressively enough. Germans have got a. I wonder a, if he's going to put a satchel charge there. I'm going to see if yeah. he can't get in there. And just... Oh, yeah, no, there's a satchel charge there. I can hear it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> they must have put the long timer on it. Looks like the German like tank got himself cut off. He's stuck in behind.
Okay. Looks like MPA only has one assaulting squad on the church here. Attacking in from, uh, looks like the northwest side of St. Mary. German Tiger just went boom. Maybe MPA will be able to hold on, but the squad leader all, on point just yeah, went down. All, yeah, all the squad leaders went down, and they don't have a... All, okay, they have a garrison to the south and a garrison more... I guess I should have said rearward. Axis instead of BDSQ. <laughs> I imagine they're going to be dropping some strafing runs, maybe some bombing runs soon. Recon planes going up to see how many are there. They're all on the open, so they should all get spotted here. Yep, so now, Strata, you and I have to be pretty good on our maps just to make sure that everyone's honoring the, uh, making sure BDSQ is doing a good job keeping in the correct locale. Copy that. Looks like the recon squads are Fox. And I don't, and, uh, no, oh, dog, fox and dog. This is one of those points that seems like it has a pretty heavy German advantage, just because it's so close to the line. Did you track that, Rob? Yep. Copy. Yeah, but the allies are coming back in force now. There's a nice, strong wave pushing in. Just one squad holding, trying to cap it. Yeah, they don't have any reinforcements, so I'm wondering if... I think, yeah, the rest of their team is still at St. Mary, Mary Lee's. From the sound, or from, from what it looks like, they're they're going for a full, just holding the middle point for the 45 minutes. Don't, don't risk pushing forward unless you somehow manage to knock them off. Mm-hmm. Don't overextend, which is a smart way to go. They got that point early, and they're just going to hold on. Yeah, it looks like the main force that was on that third point has almost been wiped out now. I totally yeah. love what MPA does here, because this is something that a lot of teams struggle with, including ourselves, is that the second that cap starts to get into trouble, they all collapse back in. So they completely shut that down. There's not, a, there's maybe it's part from a recon element, not a single element still trying to tank St. Mary Lee's. So really yep. great play by MPA to make that call, commit to it, and re reaffirm their defensive front. I'd like to see what this uh, squad leader on the Axis side is going to do. Uh, Microlos, he's uh, hidden in behind. Looks like no one sees him. He's on his own, but he gets a nice good S uh, OP up, and uh, he's got a nice rear flank. He can start taking defenses down. Rear garrisons and looks like there's only recon squad on a uh, church now. Yep, it looks like Never Play Alone also has uh, dark times ahead. Uh, officer in the back lines again, coming from the checkpoint side. There's that northern hospice front seems to be more or less completely contained by BDSQ. Completely shut down. Yeah, everything's shifted to the south. Which makes sense, right? Like, if you want to play aggressive, offensive defense, if you will, holding coming in from that south side, not only does that shut down, or I should say the checkpoint side, not only does that shut down your ability to attack Mason if you're the U.S., but it also allows you to now put pressure on St. Mare and kind of play a little bit of offensive defense. Absolutely. Looks like MPA is just sending one squad off, probably to get some forward garrisons down, try another assault. Because they've, although BDSQ has a, a decent element in behind St. St. or Mason to Creek. It's got at least. At least one three. section plus a recon. Yep. I can't tell like how close they are to the uh, to the enemy lines, Mark. Oh, you're just opening your map too easy. I yeah, but it's the it's it's the enemy side, so I don't see them so on the map. I'm I'm kind of comparing them to where the, the allies troopers are. If you do have some near, 
that's how I'm kind of keeping eyes on, on say, yeah. the German troops. Um, they're they... almost right in line, so, like, I can yeah. tell that these guys haven't crossed yet. Yeah, um, Strider, you want to specifically keep an eye on, like, Jig and King Squad on that line? Because King's kind of towing it, so you want to just kind of focus on them? I'll keep an eye on what's going on, action going on on St. Mare. Sure. So, it'll be easier for us because we can see people directly. Ooh. This looks like... Got two tank assault coming in from checkpoint. And Never Play Alone now has actually secured that uh, E6 grid, so that bottom right corner of the St. Mary Glees cap zone with two squads. Now, see if they could get another one. Actually, it looks like they're going on it right now. They're dropping supplies up into the Fox 3, going back to Hospice, get another angle of approach from the north. Now that they've kind of secured Mason to Creek, although they do still have one squad in behind them that uh, is going to pose a threat. So, yeah, it's... We're approaching the 20 minute mark, so let's try to, if we can, between the four of us, remember to give announcements at 20, 15, 10, 5. Copy, uh, just say the word and I'll, uh, I'll put the text in. So we're about yeah. a minute before the 20 minute mark. Yeah, so it looks like never played got behind the main point. Yeah, but it looks like King Squad is just going for that deep flank. Onto Mason de, de Creek. Oh, so right now, the one thing that BDSQ is doing very well, they have four garrisons all around St. Mary Glees, so even though Never Play Alone snuck in behind, they're getting that radial signal letting them know where that pressure's coming from. Um, so they're actually able to respond now. See, that's a smart move, too. You get multiple spots to spawn back in on in case you need them, and it's, it's a good indicator that, hey, we're being hit from different directions. We gotta shift our focus. Yep, and we're actually starting to get cap progress on St. Mary Glees by Never Play Alone. Also, be interesting now. Now, do, does BDSQ keep their two tanks on the main fight and Mason to Crete pull them back? And right now, it actually looks like Never Play Alone has a good two section element strangling out St. Mary Glees. So, it'll be interesting to see if BDSQ is gonna use their nearby garrisons to reinforce that point, but they also just had a nice recon playing kind of spot all that pressure on St. Mara. We BDSQ just had... just lost one of their southern tanks, so it doesn't look like they're going to be able to pull those back and support Actually, their middle. Of... Both of them are gone now. We had a single solo tanker take down both of those. I'm not sure what type of tanks. Panthers, maybe? Well, one was actually taken out by an, a one lone AT guy. That's it fairly looks, frequent. It looks like the uh, BDSQ has gotten back into the church. And from that defensive position is able to maintain capture control. However, never play alone on St. Mary Glees, at least has really good contact. Huh, that's an interesting bombing run. So they yeah, I'm not sure what's over there. Maybe just trying to clear it out check for garrisons and stuff like that. Must be. So who sent that in? That yeah. was the... that was that was the uh, NPA. Huh. Yep. Now they did also just drop an airhead north of Hospice, so it looks like now that they got the pressure on Saint Mary, they're going to sneak another squad down, or maybe get a garrison forward to to prepare for an assault on route to harass if they capture Saint Mary. It's going to be fun. They're going to have fun when they're watching the footage and they're like, oh my god, if only I threw a Satchel Trojan to you onto that church just to obliterate <laughs> everyone. We had, we were practicing with some of the other guys uh, yesterday and someone put a Satchel on the bottom of a three-story house. It was probably about three houses wide, one of those bigger houses. And I was watching the footage and it that one satchel cleared the entire house of maybe 10 to 20 guys. Yeah, the satchels right now are completely broken. We had an SP recently that Bud took us through where it was like the enemy team had to protect their commander. We just placed a satchel charge on the point. <laughs> Rip. Called it a day. Part of that. <laughs> so now, yeah. Never Play Alone has about three sections using that southeastern approach. 
the BDSQ is starting to strangle out. They got a section, two sections holding the church, and then another section from the southeast coming in to try to clear. Well, it also looks like NPA is starting to lose their their spawns in behind them on that that push because their their one garrison for sure has gone hot, or or sorry, is overrun while their OPs are all going hot. Yep. So shout out to BDSQ's Mala getting in there, clearing out that OP and garrison. Well done, sir. He uh, just got it, in there, AT class, putting in work. I think he just blew the garrison as well. Uh, garrison looks like it's still up. Let's just overrun. Yeah, that garrison is really close to the point. Like, I don't, I don't think that was a good call to place it there, but. Well, is it what a hundred meters when you're in a forward garrison? That an enemy has to be in to overrun it like that? Yeah, meters, to yeah, block it. Forward garrison. And the garrison is gone now. They're just relying on their OPs again. Mm -hmm. So let's say, let's announce the 16 minute mark. We're about 16 minutes left in the match. You know, but the, what I will say, I think we're reviewing this, and especially as we go into round two, I mean, Never Play Alone still has a significant amount of offensive pressure on that St. Mary Glees point, and it looks like BDSQ is pretty much committing to just pushing that off, pushing off that approach. So it, even if Never Play Alone isn't even isn't able to capture St. Mary Glees here, I think they're going to be very happy to note that they were able to control Misson because that it's really hard to come back in these two rounds if you lose that four strong point but by maintaining that strong point and now they're giving themselves a chance to recap St. Mary Glees even if it holds out that BDSQ wins this round that second round is super winnable it's all about who's going to come in and get that middle point you know it's still anyone's game and absolutely the way we're doing the tie break here is since we're raising money for the IS IASP Association. Um, right now, we've have raised about sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars for that for that suicide prevention association connected to the WHO. And if in the event there is a tie, the winner will be declared based on who has more funds raised. And I believe at this time, Never Play the Real One has raised something like two hundred and forty dollars. Um, where BDSQ is, I want to say, is in the range of 100 to 150. So right now, in the event of a tie, it would go to Never Play Alone for their generous input to that contribution. fundraiser. Contribution, thank you. But man, what a fight at St. Mare. Uh, it definitely looks like BDSQ has went all in on that defense, realizing that the time's ticking down and they just got to hold that point. I'm I'm just surprised that MPA didn't get completely crushed there because it seemed like there was a hammer anvil type approach from uh, BDSQ and KRT well, to come I, down on them. I think it all kind of started with their start. NPA went straight to, hey, let's make sure we hold our fourth objective and not allow them to push past it. They, they gave up St. Mary Glees in hopes that they could set up an assault and reclaim it. BDSQ just did a, a great job defending so far, uh, but MPA was definitely on the lines. They were very close to, to losing Mason on the Creek. Uh, we got uh, an engineer but... here approaching church. <laughs> da -na. Cue job they... music. Da -na. I, I, got, I got a bit of sight on the church. I'd like to see an explosion uh, I, from all I'm the way over here. I'm watching him right now. It looks like he's getting out the sad to church. Yep. Here he there goes. is Romulus from MPA throwing that satsatrage on the church. I think uh, it looks like KRT Sovereign might be hearing it because it looks like based on his movement, he might be running down the church steps to be like, uh-oh, sailor, we may be in trouble. Ready for that big explosion to see off in the distance here. Yeah, I think he's going to take out more of his teammates here, though. Oh, he God. The enemy. Yeah, that's, that's That could really spooky. hurt their assault. Mm-hmm. So right now, uh, what I will say is, I think at never. Oh, there alone, he goes! Did that, that just flip the... a tank? It, it definitely flung it. I, I could see the tank <laughs> it flip. It will definitely flip tanks. 
I've been tossed 100 feet in the air in a Sherman I, from a satchel charge. I watched that. <laughs> it knocked you guys right out of position and <laughs> almost squished somebody. It would have yeah. been perfect. <laughs> I, I feel bad for that uh, tech correct guy. I, I watched it. See, he was about to enter church and the satchel went off and it flipped the tank around so the machine gun was looking right at him. Looks like the push on Mason the Creek is back on. It looks maybe three, two or three full squad elements pushing in. And it's rather scattered for uh, MPA here. Yeah, there's not a whole lot left defending. User joined your channel. Right, here we go with a bombing run, I'm assuming, by VDSQ. Yeah, it looked like NPA's offensive here has kind of petered out a little bit. I mean, I, they still got three squad leads up, so it's just the numbers game. With the uh, dark times ahead, Madcap and Cheese. And we're at we're approaching the ten minute mark. Still time to keep, cap that second point. Yeah, never play alone is swarming it, and, and it's crazy how it flips, right? Because now it's like the southeast never play alone is like that's ours, and the northwest of church is now completely controlled by BDSQ, and it's just a matter of going crazy in there. And I will say there it looks like what's this? There's a solo tank on church just putting in work. <laughs> Excuse me. It's pretty interesting. The their MPA is trying to build up this point back here, but it looks like they keep getting their trucks stuck. Two trucks currently in the river leading up to the point as they're trying to pull it up through cover. If anybody watching this would like to donate to the charity we'll have links in the description below for both of the teams along with if you decide that you want to join one of these two teams we'll have links for that as well as we pause for this commercial break all right <laughs> yeah so uh now we're at the 10 minute problem. let's announce the 10 minute warning on it Looks like we have a tiger starting to push Mason. Well, That'll be interesting. Explosions. 76 so. is still to the southern edge of Mason Decree. See who gets the spot who first. Uh, Ooh, tiger spotting that... the support trucks. No supplies for the allies coming in. Oh no, they still have two supplies on the point. It's two supply trucks on the point. But... Oh, never play alone just made a huge move onto the church. Yeah, oh yeah, they're starting to the cap. Oh. Oh, it's oh, close. That 10 minute, everyone's clenching their sphincter. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> but you got to see here, you got BDSQ really pushing Mason to Creek now as well. And NPA is struggling to, to hold them off. Oh man, see this is where this is where games are made and broken, right? Like, oh, do we defend? Do we attack? Well, what do we do? They got fully pushed off. There's only a few guys left on that point. Yeah, I, and I'm seeing the all the squad leaders dropping down. Up. Yep. I I don't think MPA has actually taken out the garrisons around the church, so even if they can stay on the point, they haven't solved the main issue that they're just going to keep getting spawns around them. Yep, and... Ooh, it looks like the garrison might have fallen on Mason Under Creek. The Sherman's trying to get up there to try and keep its body from keeping the the cap to flip. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh that oh, bombing run wrong, went the wrong way. That was going oh, the yeah. wrong way, though. So right now... Um, the command of BDSQ also dropped in the airhead right on my son. So I think they're committed. They're like, that's ours, boys. They're sniffing the water. Looks like we might get some more 76 tiger action here. Don't ask oh, me what sniffing the water got, means. Got a nice blank it's right shot. on his butt. Uh, tiger and, has no idea. He's about to get a nasty surprise. And never play alone. There's about two squad size elements on church doing everything they can. Reinforce inbound from BDSQ. Oh, this is going to be an interesting cap race. Where's this tank at? I, I see the tiger. I don't see the, oh, the he's Sherman. Right, the Sherman right is behind on the road him. directly in front of the tiger. Tiger got flipped around. He was able to face him, but now he's got AT to his rear. There, oh, there we go. There goes the tiger. It's a good surround by NPA. NPAs look like they're just barely holding on. They're trying to do a counter push back onto Mason to crew, uh, Creek. 
The 76 is repositioning to get shots on the, on the complex. And meanwhile, it looks like BDSQ has reconfirmed their stronghold on St. Mary Glees. So really now it's... Oh, there goes their airhead. So really now, I think it's on Never Play Alone. is probably regrouping now to see what they can do to cover. Three squad leaders just showed up in Mason to Creek. If they can get their OPs down, this point might flip. It's getting close. It's it's. Oh no, they're they're starting to hold on to it again. The, they've got enough in the area they can defend it. Yeah, that's brutal. That commander's gonna be must be like kicking themselves a little, little bit. He's like, ah, so close. <laughs> Almost <laughs> wiped it all. <laughs> it's like those panic bombing runs. You're like trying to click it, get it right where you want it. You just like just I'm, send it. I'm watching the NPA <laughs> commander right now, and he's like on the corner of the church. Meanwhile, there's a good 10 people in the church right now. <laughs> He's like, I am the one-man army. So right now, I see what oh, it looks right. like Never Play Alone has one SL, Cheese, just kind of hanging and hiding in the building behind St. Mary Glees. As they re-control Maison, kind of, I think they're looking for che Cheese will come in and do oh, this classic. They know, they know where Cheese is, though. And Cheese's squad just spawned in. They're lighting up the building he's in right now. Oh, almost more and more get... BDSQ. The, their foothold's really strong here. True. Cap has gone Hard. back towards. NPA has got a lot of open fields to cross. Yeah, yeah but they... they're getting pretty close. They're they're almost right on that little river, and Good I think they're going to gonna be able to. Yep. They're. I, I think they've regained control. They just got a few guys. Uh, BDSQ's lost all their um, squad leaders down there, and you got one guy Doki trying to. Oh, and now Yaruto trying to get yeah. back in to set up some OPs and garrisons. We're getting close to the OP five line. Two, two OPs and a garrison are still up by Mason as well. They're going to have to clear through that all the way through. So the Oh, are... big spawn just came in on that garrison. I oh yeah, it. here they come. Man, isn't this like the way hell it loose is meant to be watched? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is, this is awesome. great. Yeah, this is perfect timing for them to bring the admin cam in. I think I'm going to go get some or, or was it, for the next one. <laughs> or, or was it perfect timing by your first lieutenant, Rob, to schedule it right as the admin cam is coming out? Yes, Ooh. you are absolutely right. My apologies. Perfect yeah. timing. Even though they didn't <laughs> announce the admin cam until like a week before and we scheduled it months ago. But we don't have to worry about the semantics on that one. Yeah. Oh, well. This is a huge push from uh, BDSQ. Ooh, it QRT. looks like they pushed yeah. them off the point. All right, uh, that's the five-minute mark. Let's announce. Also, I want to say at the conclusion of this, um, let them know we're going to flip the map twice, do a five-minute break, and then we'll be back live. So they're going to play the same sides again? Mm, no. No. So if you flip twice and then you wait five minutes, flip again, that should put them on the right side. Oh, okay. So it'll flip three times in totality. Yeah. So you'll flip once, flip twice, wait five minutes, and then flip again. Yes. Yes. If I understood that correct. Okay. Makes sense. So if you guys want to take uh, that up, what I said is, is at the conclusion of this round, we'll flip the map twice, take a five minute break, then flip live for round two and we you are also do that in uh, the server message as well yeah it's just a broadcast is kind of weird because of the way it, it runs um That's and true. we could do the server message but we have the server message set up for the roe for the server and it's like on the reset timer that, that's um, true we don't want to mess the, that up the other thing Ooh, i noticed and i'm not sure if your head just came in for oh, yeah. uh mason Yeah, it looks like looks like MPA is going all in on defense just to hold Mason to Creek. They don't want to lose it and, and risk falling too far behind in this tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good use of smokes on the airhead. Yeah, you know, right now if you're BDSQ, you're thinking like this is where you can put you know the dagger in the back, start to taste it, the knee to the neck, like just end it right there. Yeah, I don't think knee to the neck is the most appropriate thing given current <laughs> events. <laughs> well, don't we'll worry cut about that it. In post. <laughs> <laughs> Hermes, if you could add a bleep over Rob's statement. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I want to actually hear the bleep now. Rob, yeah. Rob, you have been censored. I should be, honestly. That was not my intention, I apologize. 
to all, all right. the viewers out there who are watching this. <laughs> we are at the 44th minute of this recording. We love you dearly, and uh, please don't <laughs> see me. a timestamp right there. <laughs> Alright, so we're approaching the two-minute mark, which is... Looks like we got a panther up on the point as well. No friendly tanks for MPA. Uh, they... A panther is just lighting up all the approach for MPA right now. Just that smoke, just keep. Oh, here comes so the cat progress. With, oh wow, they have enough time. Almost the two minute warning mark. Oh, oh they're losing, no, they're, they're they're losing, losing it again. again. So we got. I, I don't think a reinforce has been used yet on the point. So if they can hold um, it for a little bit longer, they can just pop a reinforce. They now. they did drop a reinforce down when they were initially losing it against the one squad. I saw that. Um, they were trying to hold on when they got completely pushed. Earlier in the oh, match, like yeah. Panther starting. Oh, he took out the AT guy. So it looks so like we're at that uh, two minute mark and no cap progress. So that's probably going to end it. I don't think they're going to any either side will have enough time now to. Oh, that, cap progress is back up on Mason. Oh, I don't know if it's going to no. be enough time. So remember, there is no overtime rules. So 45 minutes, it's over. So this might be a really close. Very close. How much time is left on the mark? Uh, minute 25. Ooh, it's going to be really close. They're going to have to continuously cap this. If it stops at any time, then it's not going to make it. Oh, it looks like I, they're starting oh. to get a strong enough hold. And the allied tank that's just jumped up, he's getting flanked by that German Panther. Panther has got a good sidewall, but the Panther missed his first shot. He's got to and, hit it if he's going to get it. But the NPA is just holding on. They've actually contested the defense. Oh, the the NPA Creek. tank commander. <laughs> there goes oh, the allied tank. Oh, it just went down to that Panther. TC jumped out and immediately died. <laughs> Don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, I was watching like the commander that just... tank just on the back. Oh. The the cap has been stalled, I think, just enough for MPA just to hold on. Enough. And we are down to 30 seconds. Yeah, there's a reinforce on the point right now. Yep, so... they're not capping. Good it actually job. went in the opposite direction with no NPA on the point. That's interesting. I think MPA just lost their last person who was on point. I, um, I think it, I think it's just because they have so many in the other. They um, have so many in the grid square, and BDSQ just does not have anybody on the strong point. Can I get a countdown for uh, when to flip the map? Three, Five, four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Flip map.